At the end of this ceremony, legally, you will be husband and wife, but you still decide with every day that you want to give yourself to each other and that together that you can become more than you could ever be apart. That together you experience more joy because you share it. Together you can experience more tough times and trials because you divide those. That together that you can become what you could never be by yourself. For as much as Dune and Megan have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and this company, and have given and pledged their love and their loyalty each to the other, and have declared the same by giving and receiving a ring and by joining hands, I therefore pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, amen. Dune, would you like to kiss your bride? Why don't you do that? Ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege to introduce for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Dune Piper. me with how beautiful and smart you turned out. No matter what age you are, you'll always be my little girl. I'm so happy to welcome Megan into our family. I love her. I've now got three girls in the family with me. Uh, really though, Megan deserves the absolute best and since she couldn't marry me, it turns out that Dune had to be the next best thing. I pretty much just told him like, hey man, that's supposed to last forever, you know? Like, I hope you're sure of it. And he said, yeah, man, I'm completely sure of it. And I said, good, I think you should do it then. Your grandmother loves you and has walked the road where you have been. There's much ground you will cover with both joys and hurts, I must say. But this little bear is here reminding you of the love that will always flow. Everybody, please help us in congratulating the bride and groom. Love you guys. Cheers to the Pipers. Here's to Mr. and Mrs. Piper, or Peace Stains. <laughs> 